Danny, how's practice today? Uh, today has been pretty good. This week has been pretty good, you know. After you after you have a loss, you know, some coaches say that's the best thing for a team, you know, because it it, may, it humbles you. It makes you go back to like to the basics. It makes you regroup. Uh, Jamal was trying to tell us you guys are a little bit hungry this oh, week. Yeah. Is that the the mood like with the guys? Oh yes, sir. I mean, I mean, you never. I mean, you never want to start the season zero one. But what's worse than zero one, zero two, and you never want that. How do you view this matchup against Texas State? What are the things their offense does well? Uh, Come again. The Texas State offense. What do you have to be prepared for with them? Oh, uh, they got they got a good quarterback uh, transfer. Uh, from two big schools, uh, they got good receivers that make plays. That running backs got they got two running backs that are real shifty and create they create lanes for themselves. We just like it's, it's the same thing every week. We just got we got to execute the plan that we have, and that's what it comes down to execution. What was your reaction when you saw that they beat Baylor? Uh, I mean that was I, I gotta give them their props. They went to another team's home stadium and, and won a season opener. I mean you can't really you can't take nothing away from them. You gotta give them their props. This is a trophy game for you guys. Does that add any extra juice to this one, or bring anything to the table? Uh, I mean, we try to we try to view every game the same. A game is a game. It's the same thing as practice, but you know, this time we got more fans watching. How about trying to bounce back from the Houston loss? Is that you know what's it been like the mentality and practice this week of sort of uh, erasing that? Uh, I mean, I mean, for some people, I mean, like like myself, like I, you could get carried away with winning. And like when you lose it, it humbles you. It, it keeps you grounded. I mean, nobody ever likes to just keep losing. I mean, that's never what you want to do. But I mean, when you when you take one and you can learn from it, that's good. Danny, how would you say the uh, defense played in week one? Uh, I feel like I feel like week, week one we played we played pretty good. But I mean, we're working on that. You know what I mean? Just being able to end games on defense. You know, not having to you know rely on uh, other phases. You know, what I mean? if we could get it done on defense, get it done. How would you say you played in the first game? Uh, I feel like I, I did pretty good, but you know it's always room for improvement. I got, still got to go back and correct some of the stuff that I, you know. But you know it's just it's just always going back, sharpening the tools that you got in the toolbox. What What are some of those things you want to correct? Uh, just like my eyes, like you know, just like that's that's really the ba- the main thing. My eyes, having my eyes in the right spots at the at the right time at all times. You were able to get in the backfield for a couple of pretty disruptive plays. What was the key to kind of creating some havoc from your individual perspective? It's just executing the plan that the coaches are giving us. I mean, that's, that's, that's all it is. I mean, you can call any play you want. You can call anything, but it's all about execution. I mean, you can have the best play with the best offense that they're about to play they're about to run, but if you don't execute it, it ain't going to look like that. You guys are going to be back in the Alamo Dome this weekend. What's the mood like with with that uh, that's, that's gonna be a fun one you know when it's, it's it's always rough when you got to go to a away game mm-hmm. because you don't have your you don't have your like the whole city behind you but when you when you when we come back to the Alamo Dome we know the city's gonna be there how have you grown as a player from last year to this year uh, I say just like like the edge you know it's just like I mean it's not that I had didn't have the edge last year but I feel like the edge is getting more because I feel like like the like the, t- the tunnel's getting there you feel me like I'm, I'm, I'm going to coming up to my senior year, so it's like the tunnel is coming near. So now it's, you feel me? It's like it's, it's now never. What does that edge mean to you on the field? How do you sort of embody that? It's just like, like me and my brother. Like my brother texted me before the game, and he told me just ride relentless on my on my wrist sleeve. So like that's that's just what I want to do this whole season. Just play relentless. Like okay. whatever I'm doing, pass rushing, being the coverage, whatever I gotta do, just be relentless. Donnie, how good can the defense be? It seemed like they played pretty well week one. What's the ceiling for how good this defense could be? Uh, our ceiling is just just execution. Like like that's like we know when we execute one hundred percent, we're we're great defense, and we, we know when we execute one hundred percent, we put our team in a good position. What did it mean to you to get a starting role this year and to have that from week so, one? To get a starting job this year, what did it mean to you to win that competition uh, and have that spot? It, it's nice being able to, you know, become a leader. Like after my brother, he was a leader for this team, and then him graduating, going into his next phase of his life, and then me being able to step up and obviously being able to wear his number as well. Like that's just it's, it makes me proud. It makes my brother proud. It makes my whole family proud. Yeah. Did you talk to him about that? The decision to wear the same number, or how did that come together for you? Uh, I mean, like, I mean, I didn't find out until after the uh, the single digit count came back. And then when I found out, I did. I called him. Was he was he like supportive of that? What was oh his yeah, reaction? yeah, yeah. He just started smiling, laughing. Yeah, it was, you, it was it was a great moment. Do you feel like you bring a lot of the same things, or are you a different type of player from what he brought to that role? Oh, uh, I mean, like me and my brother, we we play with a lot of like, 
like grit. Like we were like we were grit players. Like coming from small towns, like, like that's what that's, I feel like that's what it developed. Like grit players, like being able to be relentless, being able to be you know versatile, doing more than one thing. Like and that's just like something that that we grew up and developed on. And being able to be versatile coming from a small town, like that helped us when we got to college. Is there anything he told you as you were getting ready for this year that you kind of uh, took as advice or that helped you fit into this role? Uh, just just like not, don't dwell on the last play. No matter how good or bad it is, it's always the next play. You've mentioned relentless a couple times. I know at the end of the first half there, you got flagged for a late hit. Is there like a, a balancing act to that, of trying to do it the right way? Uh, yeah, I made, I made a bad decision. I just got to learn from it. Yes, sir. Is there, a, um, is there a value to sort of being a type of player that pushes the envelope in some senses or can, can sort of uh, put that pressure on other teams? I mean, I mean it's, a, it's a violent game, so I mean, you obviously got to push the envelope a little bit, but it's just situ like knowing situations, and I, I, I made a bad decision in that situation. Gotcha. Cool. Thank, Thank you.